Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andri. In this video, I will talk about ChatGPT, uh, running GPT-4, and I'll show how GPT-4 can analyze uh, data, uh, output data from OCR. I'm using uh, Paddle OCR and I'm scanning uh, uh, receipt documents and then I'm feeding uh, result data uh, directly to basically copy pasting the data for now uh, into uh, chat GPT window and uh, asking to provide information about this data and also asking questions. And surprisingly, chat GPT is able very well to understand structure, uh, basically the sequence of words uh, presented from OCR output and it can understand uh, dependencies between uh, keys and values out of the box without even specifying additionally any metadata and uh, providing any coordinates or, or whatsoever, whatsoever. So this is great and uh, this uh, definitely makes ChatGPT useful to analyze uh, uh, OCR data uh, from different kind of documents. And what I'm busy working on, I'm uh, implementing my own uh, ChatGPT plugin, which will allow uh, out of the box to, from ChatGPT environment to upload, for example, a receipt document, and then this receipt document will go to Sparrow service, will be OC, uh, OCR process will happen there, and some additional logic maybe, and then resulted text data, array of text data will come back to ChatGPT, and user will be able to uh, ask questions about the data. So that's in the future. For now, I'm just testing out and checking how it works. Uh, I'm just copy pasting the OCR results uh, array data from from OC, with OCR results, copy pasting directly in ChatGPT and uh, asking the questions, and it works very well. So let's uh, see uh, how it works. First of all, uh, just a few seconds about the source code. I would like to explain. Uh, the OCR service that I'm running through Sparrow uh, application. Sparrow is our open source solution to, which helps to extract data from different kinds of documents. We're using a fast API and uh, <clears throat> endpoint responsible for OCR. Uh, it gets uh, uh, PDF uh, or either image file, right? And based on this uh, document, it uh, calls uh, OCR service and extracts the data and data is presented in form of array and it returned back to the caller. So uh, we're using uh, uh, specifically Paddle OCR um, because Paddle OCR turns out it works very well and uh, out of the box it can group different words that uh, belong uh, logically to the same sentence, to the same group. So it doesn't uh, return just uh, separate words but if the words are related together in one sentence, then uh, those multiple words will be returned as a single line result. And this is very useful <coughs> in terms of ChatGPT because we can uh, feed to ChatGPT those um, grouped words. And this simplifies uh, greatly a task uh, for ChatGPT to analyze dependencies between, between those words and find out uh, what are uh, relations and so on. Right, so yeah, all this code is uh, uh, Sparrow is uh, open open source. Below the video, I'll put a link uh, to the GitHub repo from where you could get this uh, uh, project and run on your local. Right, so now let's uh, come back to uh, to the demo. So this is the sample receipt, right? And yeah, it's standard receipt. And uh, yeah, as I already said. Uh, I uh, send this uh, document to Sparrow, got back the array, and then I could paste it array into ChatGPT. So this is the ChatGPT session. I, I said that I want to analyze uh, OCR data for the receipt, and could you help to answer questions? Then I got the answer from ChatGPT. Okay, I can do that. Please uh, provide the data. And then I just copy pasted uh, the data from from the result of this uh, of, of this API call and this is the sample data for that receipt that you saw a moment ago I just copy pasted this datum 
uh, over here and yes yeah, straight away without any changes and as you can see each line it represents a um, group of words so uh, this result is coming out of the box out of the box from Padlo OCR so this is the first line your guess number is and goes 33 and so on and so on the interesting part is with uh, receipt items this one is double double it's over here and uh, it goes from left to right uh, then it's the price 525 it goes over here then it go goes next line and it goes uh, fry then it's price then it's uh, mass of drink and so on so chat gpt can understand uh, those the sequence uh, properly so it can relate uh, prices and items uh, because it can understand the pattern that uh, in this uh, set of data in this array price seems to go after the item and this happens automatically which is great okay so this is the data and then as, as soon as i copy paste the data then chat gpt automatically uh, provides uh, brief information about this data it can identify uh, and say that uh, those are for example items purchased and this is the amount due then this is the tax and, and, and so so it can automatically relate uh, uh, keys and values uh, that it finds in the receipt which is uh, great and then for example i ask what value is located next to the receipt item called fry so this is the fry and uh, i expect the answer to be uh, the price to dot uh, 35 and then we get exactly correct result it says that uh, next to fry is uh, 235 this represents the cost so it doesn't only returns the uh, value it also returns information uh, additional context information about that value it says that this is the cost of the fries in the currency of the transaction which uh, appears to be uh, in us dollars so the answer is very comprehensive then I also ask at what date the receipt was printed and it can identify the date which is in the bottom bottom of the of this receipt and it says that it's uh, November 30 of year 2021 20 which is also correct and then I ask a bit more complex question I say what would be the total amount uh, if I would not order the fry and it works also very well in this case it uh, finds that the price of the fry is 235 then it identifies that the total is 1057 which is correct and then it says that the total would be 822 but also it says that there was a tax included and um, uh, you should uh, be careful and see that the tax should be changed as well in this case so then uh, it would affect the total price so that's very smart uh, i think yeah, and uh, one more question I ask is, uh, what is this uh, double double on on the receipt? Uh, the, this uh, kind of abbreviation, and uh, the chat GPT understands that this receipt is from uh, in uh, out uh, burger, uh, probably some burger chain, and it understands that uh, uh, this abbreviation is being used in this uh, uh, burger chain as a double double. And then it explains what it is, uh, uh, that it comes with onions and so on and so on. And yeah, it gives uh, all this additional information about uh, 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 about this item. Probably uh, you could uh, also ask uh, the recipe, how you could uh, cook yourself this kind of burger at home and then provide your answer and so on. So <clears throat> yeah, uh, with this seemingly, seemingly simple information uh, from the receipt, you get uh, lots of data and you can analyze it and, and uh, get a lot of stuff. Yeah, so thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, to me, it was very exciting that uh, ChatGPT could understand relations of the OCR data out of the box without any additional metadata. And what I'm working on now, I'm building my own uh, Sparrow plugin for ChatGPT to be able to call our service directly from ChatGPT, pass uh, documents and get back the results. And then you can ask the questions about those uh, documents like receipts, for example. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.